Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, good morning. You had the funny look on my face because it said it was trying to reconnect the internet. And I thought, ah, of course. I am so glad you're joining me, even if it's just me. Um, I just really needed a reset. And so I hope that uh, you will enjoy this. It's just 30 minutes. So a couple of things. I'm going to take about two minutes um, before we get going. Um, because I just want to do a few little housekeeping things. One, <clears throat> I've been fighting this thing in my throat, so I'm going to be doing that a lot. Two, I'm not going to be playing music, which is really difficult for me because I love music. I love the build. I love just putting myself with the beat, but I wasn't really sure how that would work in this room. And just since this is coming through um, a phone, I just didn't really know how it works. So if you like to work out with music, Take your phone, take your computer, whatever you're watching me on. We can walk and talk, go get something to listen to, and just put that in the background while we work out. That's great. Um, secondly, I need some grace. Um, I am not in this kind of shape. I've been spending a lot of time running. I'm in endurance shape. Um, not as much as some of you, but for me, it's been really great. But I am not in the intensity interval push-up squat shape so you and I we are in this together we are um, both going to be working hard we're both going to be struggling maybe you maybe not you but I'm sure I am um, next listen to your body um, I I'm not there I wish I could see you and just make sure that we're all in sync with everything but above all else listen to your body if you need a break take a break if you don't want to do as many reps as I'm doing don't do as many reps. Um, you know, something is better than nothing. And so I just really encourage you to adjust as you need to. A couple rules of thumb. The greater you move, which is your range of motion, you know, your legs and your arms and all of that stuff, the more challenging it's going to be. Pull it in a little bit and it will be a little bit easier. So you can always modify with that. We are going to be doing a lot of push-ups today. Um, you have the option of doing them on your toes, on one knee and one toe, which I will demonstrate, on two knees, or also on a chair, which I'm gonna, uh, which I'll show. So if you are uh, new to push-ups, that's great. You can still join in. Uh, just grab a chair, and it'll make it a little bit easier for you. Um, I think that is it. What are we doing today? So we're gonna do a little bit of a mix. We are gonna do some high intensity intervals and I specifically did that today because the science behind the intervals is when you ramp up your heart and then you pull it back down, guess what that's great for? Metabolism. Guess what I need right now? Metabolism. So that's the intent of a lot of today. So we're gonna take 30 seconds, we're gonna really pull up our heart. That may look different than what I'm doing. It may be more, it may be less. Again, what's right for you. Um, after that, we're gonna do 10 reps of um, upper body. We'll, those, that's when our push-ups will come into play. Um, I'm, we'll just see. I'm not really sure how this is gonna do because I haven't done this workout before, but it's gonna be different kinds of push-ups. Again, do more, do less if you need to. Then after that, we're gonna do 15 reps of a core-based workout and the, or a core-based move. And then we're gonna do something a little, and then we're gonna do another one and another set. So <clears throat> that is the plan today. And um, I think we're just gonna get going. We're gonna warm up for about three minutes and then we're gonna get in. And then at the end, please stay with me because we're gonna cool down for about three minutes. Hey, Cheryl Ford, great to see you. All right, so let's just start off walking. So remember, if you just joined us, oh, I'm gonna pull this back just a little bit. Keep walking, keep walking. So we are, we're at a steady place. You know, our heart has just been going along. Maybe you just got up, maybe you just finished your coffee and you need to allow your heart to move up to the pace that we're gonna do it. So that's why warm ups are so important. Let's kind of shake it out here. As we go along, <clears throat> It may be that you just need to watch me because I get to talking sometimes. And then once we get talking, sometimes I lose count, but I do have my phone or I do have, um, I do have a clock. Also, I lose my train of thought. So it's just gonna be like when we're in class. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of hug and love. 
Now, what I really want you doing is pulling those elbows all the way back and opening up your chest because we are using those pectorals today. As you're doing this, you're kicking your butt with your heels and also take those shoulders, pull them down toward the back. You don't want to be crossing over your shoulders. Open it up, <coughs> open it up. All right, so let's do some knees, single knees here. We're gonna see these a little bit later. All right, and then we're just gonna go real small. Just pull your knees up just a little bit. Shake out those hands. Did you know that the first few minutes of every workout, you're almost gonna be more out of breath because your heart and your blood are needing more oxygen than your lungs are ready to pump out. So again, that's the importance of the workout. All right, so give, take that down, give me a little walk, take your arms out. You can't see me, I'm gonna do this. Little bitty circles. So we're keeping our legs moving. And we're doing some circles here. All right, take it back. We're reversing now, opening that up. All right. How was your Thanksgiving? Mine was fantastic. I don't know if you saw the, prom the promo video for this, but I went from crazy in the right spot to not in the right spot. All right, take your feet apart. I want you to give me a little squat and then reach. I'm gonna try and stay in my, in my uh, view here. Reaching up all the way. All right, I'm not used to staying in such a small, confined space. That's all right, we're here. I'd love to know what kind of music you're listening to or what kind of music you like to listen to. I do a whole mix, depending on my mood. All right, take your feet out, arms out. Take it down and all the way up. When you are coming up, make sure you are taking your hips forward, Squeeze your glutes or your butt cheeks, which my mother wouldn't want me saying. Oh, confession, by the way, guess what I'm doing right now? I'm wearing makeup. See, keep going. I never wear makeup. Like lipstick and eyebrows and all of that stuff. Let me give you three more. Why? I don't know. I just felt like this pressure to put makeup on while I'm on the, while I'm on the big screen. <laughs> if you will. All right, so hope everything's a little bit warmed up. We're gonna get going. We're gonna start 30 seconds. Take it, starting it fairly easy. We're gonna start with jump squats. So I'm gonna get my, my clock started. All right, here we go. Jump squats, taking it down and up. So lots of options here. You can take it low. You can reach it down, come up to your toes, but stay on the ground or you can go all the way up. Remember, the point of this is to get really high heart rate and out of breath. We've got about eight seconds left here. So keep going. You wanna really fight for that. Three, two, and one. All right, 15 second break. Next up, we're doing push-ups. So remember with your push-ups, roll your shoulders back. You don't wanna round it, roll it back. Take your hands below. I'm gonna do regular ones on my toes. Ready? 10 of them. Just down and up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stay down there. Take a little break if you need it. Next up, plank taps. In your plank position, you're gonna tap your shoulder Bring it down, up again, and down. One, one, two, two. Just so you know the way we're counting. All right, ready? I'll face you this way. Let's go. One, one, two, two. So watch your hips. You wanna make sure that they are square to the ground. Keep your hands below your shoulders. All right, now what's happening is I'm losing count. I think I'm on seven. We're going to 15, eight, nine. Squeeze your rib cage together. Pull your belly button back. Uh-oh, I've lost count.
one again. 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. Coming in up. That's one set. So next up, we're going to mountain climbers. In that plank position, you're bringing one knee in and then the other knee. Go to a chair. My chair's over there if you're seeing it. Go to a chair if you need to. All right. Let's take it down. Roll those shoulders back. Don't round it. Roll it back. Three, two, and one. Mountain climbers. All right. I hope you can hear me. So, confession. Another one. Sometimes when I'm working, setting up a workout for my girls, I might have to tell you this here in a little bit. What I do is I revolve it around one move. Just something I feel like doing. So today, it was mountain climbers. All right, three, two, one. Take your 15 second break. All right, next up we're doing push-ups again. We're going wide. I want your hands out wide, not underneath your shoulders. All right, so down to the ground, wide, wide, and let's go, 10 of them, 10, nine. Remember, one knee, I hope you can see this, one foot or both knees. I think I'm at five, four, three, two, and you slow it down, and one. All right, stay down. We're going to do some V-ups. Bend your knees for a little bit of help, or do one foot, then the other. All right, rolling it down. So you're starting here. This is your full V up. You can bend your knee or you can do one foot and then the other. Let's go, 15 of them up. Two. I'll try not to lose count this time. Three, four, pull your belly button in, halfway there, eight. <clears throat> Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. So, if you're sitting there thinking that hurts my quads, that's really normal because we're using those quads to lift up our legs. So that's why I made them earlier in the party rather than later. Next up, single leg, reverse lunge with a hop. So just with one leg, we're going to go down into a lunge. We're going to come up and hop it. If you don't want to do the hop, I've had a girl tell me before, Amy, I don't trust myself to leave the ground. That's okay. You'll earn that trust. Until then, just come up here or elevate on your toe. I hope you can see me there. I can scoot it back a little bit. All right. Four, three, two, same leg. One, let's go. Take it back and up. Really getting, if you want some height, get that height. Because remember, we're going for elevated heart rate here. Halfway there. All right. My left leg. Maybe that's your right leg. Start the burn. That's a good thing. Four, three, two, and one. I cheated a little bit on that last one. Next up, bear crawls. So, you're going to take it down. You take your break if you need to while I'm working on this. Bear crawl like you're on your hands and knees. Curl your toes under and then just lift up. Keep those elbows, your shoulders back. And then we're going to go up and back. So, I'm going to face you here. I'm going to go up about four and then back about four. All right, you ready? Let's go. Up, up. That's one. Up for four, and back for two. Now you might be saying, Amy, this isn't working my chest, and I'm gonna tell you, I know, but if we only work our chest, then we're not staying equal. All right, I think that's five. I'm really sorry if you're a counter, 
and I'm not counting right. Six. Can you see me? You can see me. I'll scoot back a little bit. Seven. You like that? Sometimes that's a sneaky break. Eight. <laughs> and back. Nine. Up for four. Back for four. And that's ten. Nice work. All right. Stay on the ground. Next up, bicycles. So, again, lying on the ground. Lots of options. I'll go here. Get your... Uh, Shoulder blades elevated. Shoulder, not elbow. Shoulder to knee, and then switch it. So you can keep your foot down on the ground or keep it elevated. 15, one, one, two, two. Okay, let's go. One, one. We're going slow because we're not doing very many reps. Three, four, four. Remember, we're going to 15 reps. We're on eight. Eight, nine, take the time. Reach it over. 11, that shoulder over. 12, 12, 13, 13, 14. And finish it out, finish it out, 15. Nice work. All right. So, remember we did that single leg Reverse lunge to a hop. We're doing it again. Okay, here we go. So, last time I did my right leg, this time I'm doing my left leg. Down in your lunge, the further you go, that's that range of motion thing. So, more range of motion, more challenge. Otherwise, keep it here, all right? What takes your heart up? I don't care what you do, what you look like, I want your heart up. Let's go, 30 seconds. And down and up. Can you hear me breathing hard? I'm there, man. Okay. So we are on set four. I'm also getting off balance here. That's all right. We're on set four. We have 10 sets to go. We'll take a little bit longer break after five, just because two and one. All right, back to the push-ups. Regular stance, down for three, three, two, one, push it up one. All right, so we're giving a lot of power, slow and controlled going down. Quick, super quick water break. All right, regular stance, down for three, up for one, 10 reps, ready? Here we go. Down, 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 and that's one. Down, down, down. Two, squeeze your glutes and your rib cage. Down, down, I think that's five. Down, six, we might be getting an extra one. Seven, keep your chin up. Eight, nine, and ten. Shake that out. Nice work. Those are hard. Anytime you don't have enough weight or you just don't feel like what you're doing is challenging enough, slow it down. That's called time under tension. And when you do that, you're going to challenge yourself a little bit more, even though maybe you don't have the weights that you want. All right, next up, vertical scissors. Lie on your back. Right here, we're gonna take one foot up, lift up the other, I don't know if you can see, I hope you can, six inches above the ground. There we go. All right, let's go. One, one. Lift your shoulder blades for a little more. Lift your hands for a little bit more. Here's a little bit easier. Five, five. Six, six, seven, eight. Straighten up those legs if you can. Ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it going. Good. All right. Standing it up. Hi, 
my knees are next. So keep it on the ground or just do a little bit or take it all the way up. 30 seconds. Again, remember, this is your interval. Three, two, and one. Here we go. High knees, high knees. All right, so I like to put my hands up here so you can see my knees hitting my hands. It keeps my knees accountable. You can do whatever works for you. Keeping it going. Shoot, I lost track of when we started on my timer. We're gonna go another 10 seconds. Nine, eight, keep it going. Get those knees up, high as you can. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Shake that out. All right, walking push-ups. How are we gonna do that? Start here. You're gonna walk your hands out with your foot. Give me a push-up, bring it back in. Do the other one, push up, bring it back in. That's what it looks like standing. We're gonna do that on the floor. If you're doing your push-ups on your chair, just do your basic push-ups. This way we're counting. One, two, three, four. You got it. All right, push-up position. Ready? Hands out, push up, bring it in. Hands out the other way, push up, bring it in. That's two. So taking yourself a little off balance, that's three. Challenges our core a little bit more. Four. Uh -oh. All right, I think that's 10. That's called creative counting with Amy. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little wonky, but I try and bring it back. So hopefully that was 10. Finish it out if you need to. What's next? T stand. So we're going on the ground. Do it on your hands for a little more challenge in your shoulder. Do it on your elbows if you want to take that shoulder off. So let's see how am I going to do this here. We're going to go diagonal. I'll pull it down just a titch. Second to break, too. Shh. All right. On your elbow. So, on your feet. Take it up. You can also cross one over, or you can put one knee down, or both knee down. All right? What works for you? Hands up. Take it up. Down and up. 15. Try and get your hips up above that line, that plane. There's five. Oh, I love these. Oh, I can feel it in my bottom. Oblique, so good. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Guess what? You're halfway there. You're halfway done. I'm kind of regretting not having a sweat rag, but sometimes you just gotta, you know, it makes you feel good when you're sweating and you're breathing hard. This is what I needed. Grab a drink. This is just really what I needed, like working hard, working really hard, pulling it down, 30 minutes. You don't need to get out there and do something for two hours. Did you know that after 40 minutes, <clears throat> you start to get this mental halo effect. This is our break, by the way. You start to get this mental halo effect, and I know I experience it. And I'm like, I ran for 70 minutes today. I can eat everything. And, you know, that's not really the intent of what we're doing. We don't work out to eat. Sometimes it feels that way. But, um, you know, 40 minutes and below, you feel great but then maybe you're not trying to overcompensate with your food and that ghrelin, the hunger hormone, isn't kicking in as much. Okay, break's over. Except mine, I gotta get a drink now. Next up, one of my very favorite, Everest climbers. So your feet are gonna come to the outside of your hands, just like a mountain climber. If you're not ready for that, these are tough. Do regular mountain climbers. Also, here's my chair. You know, you can do it here too, all right? You choose, 30 seconds. Get it down 
Ready? And let's go. Taking it out. So, why are the Everest climbers? Because they're harder than mountain climbers. And with all of this body weight stuff, we're really challenging our triceps as well. Okay, 10 seconds. And our shoulders. I feel my skirt flopping around. That's fun. Three, two, and one. I cheated a little bit on that one. Remember the beginning? I also have, ah, there's that hair. I knew I had something like that. All right, so a little bit of break on our upper body. We're doing a crab walk. So I'm gonna pull you down just a little bit. <sighs> crab walk up for four, back for four. So on your hands, on your feet, get your hips up. See here, hips up. The further you have them up, the more challenging. Heart to the heaven. Up for four, three, two, one. Back four, three, two, one. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, up four, three. I had to get on the, and the screen. Two, one, and back. That's two. And back. This may seem like it lasts forever. That's okay, three. At least it's not push-ups. Okay, love push-ups. Love, love, love. Hate them, but love them. There's five. And up. And back. Six, take a break if you need it. Seven, my hips are starting to drop. I'm gonna push them up. Eight, down. Eight, I can also hear my water sloshing around. I'm actually kind of lucky. This is really hard on my arm, you guys. Mini break. Okay, and back. 10. I can kind of eat just about everything and not throw up. It's kind of a nice little blessing. When I work out, I mean. Okay, where are we? That was 11? Oh my gosh. Maybe this was too many. Maybe I should have counted a little different. Keep going if you need to. Just means your break will be longer when we're done here. Okay. I thought these would be a nice break. They're not. There's 13. Keep pushing. 14. And back. 15. I really hope that was the right counting. Or that we did enough. We may not have. That's okay, because it was pretty challenging for me. All right, next up, two stands on the other side. Same gig, elbow or hand. I want to give my shoulders a break so they're ready for the push-ups in the next set. So I'm going on my elbow, two knees, one knee, cross it over, or feet. You choose. All right, here we go. Elbow straight below your shoulders. You can't see my toes, that's okay. Heart to the heaven, none of this business. Take it up, down and up, one, two. Here's some other options, three, four. Here's another option, five, six. Choose what works for you, seven, up a little bit. All right. Remember the jump squats we did at the beginning? Now I got to go back down. We're going to do those again and we're at a little, a little rotation. They're called 180 jumps. So take it down here, jump it up, go the other way. Don't want to leave the ground. That's okay. This is what you're going to do. Take it down, up on your toes and down. You don't have to leave the ground. You don't have to do full intensity just to get a great workout and to meet your goals for the day. So as long as your heart spikes up, that's all I care about. Ready? Let's go. Down and up. Want a little more? Touch the floor and take your hands up. 
All right, remember, we're going for that heart spike. All right, that's the goal here. 15 down, 15 to go. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake that out, okay. Next up, we're going slow push-ups. Down and slow up. Down for two, up for two. You might be a little fatigued. Might be time to adjust your, your modify it so you can still get the good form. Okay, nice work. We're going down on the ground. I think I'm gonna start on my toes and allow myself to take it down if I need to. Down for two, up for two, 10 of them. Let's go. Down and up. One, down and up. Two, pull your belly in. Three, keep your ears in line with your shoulders. Five, six, seven, one knee down, eight, nine, and ten. That was hard. Was it hard for you? It was for me. Okay, we're going in a crunch position. So, feet are hip width apart. Your knees are up in the air. I'm gonna come back so you can get a little better view. We're gonna lie down. I hope you can hear me. Hands here, lift your shoulder blades. We're going from heel to heel. All right, lift it up. One, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna start to count. Five, because you guys aren't gonna be very happy with me. Seven, if I do too many, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, finish, and up. All right. Okay, you guys, I have really bad news. I promised 10, but I'm looking at the clock and we're 25 minutes in. And that's just with the working part. That doesn't include warm up and cool down. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one more, which is gonna put us a few minutes beyond. I hope that's okay with you. It's not as bad. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, one more set of the high intensity, of the chest, of the core, and then you can go have breakfast. All right, jumping jacks. Ready, let's go. So here, high range of motion. Low impact, right here. Okay, here's the secret. When your hands are going up and your feet are going out and you feel a little, uh-oh, almost every woman our age pees her pants when she's doing jumping jacks. I promise you, almost everyone. I had two C-sections. Still, for some reason, yeah. Guess what's really great for that? Skirts. All right, five more seconds. I love skirt sports. So many reasons. Take your break. Love the mission of the company. Nicole DeBoom, founder. Awesome, most amazing, real woman. Um, I like looking cute when I work out. They have things other than skirts. But let me tell you about skirts. They hide little oopsies. Ever go to a trampoline park with your kid? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna say that. Skirts, great for that. So, that's my plug. Go to my website, gracedhealth.com. I have 20% off um, code, it's new every quarter. All right, that's our jumping jacks. Last up, we're gonna go one down, push-ups, three, slow, up. Take it down. All right, in position. Shoulders back. You don't want to round. Shoulders back. 
Take it down. Down, up. Three, two, one. That's one. Down, up, up, up. Down, up, up. That's only three. Down, up, up. Mm, halfway there. I'm on my knees. Up, up. One more. Down, up. Back on the knees. Three more. Down, up. Oh my goodness. Okay, one, up, up, up. Holy moly. When I, sorry, when I said one more, that was me encouraging me. So I don't like to lie. I'm sorry if you thought I was lying. Okay, last one. Lying on our back. Get your legs out. Nice and straight. We're going to scissor up and down. Need a little help? Bend your knees. All right. Taking it down. 15, down is one, up is one. Take your legs up, shoulders up. Let's go, down, 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 down. That's one, up, 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 up. That's two, hold your belly in, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. My back's getting a little sore. We're fatigued. That's eleven. So I'm putting my hands underneath my hip bones. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ah, uh, 15. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Good job. So, one of you has stuck with me the whole time, and I don't know who it is right now, but well done. Thanks for joining me. I'll give you a shout out. Hopefully I can figure out who that was. Or if you want to add a comment real quick, tell me who it is. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna cool it down. Who was that? Whatever, okay. So, bring those knees up. All of those squats, all right, we're really working on our glutes, our upper hamstrings. So, flex your feet and kind of pull it out. We're looking kind of like for a 90 degree angle. Ah, thanks Cheryl Ford. Sorry I missed you last week. Last week Cheryl and I were both participating in the Route 66. She, is more of a badass than I am. She did the full. I did the half. All right, kick your butt. Kick your butt. Okay. And then give a little hug and love. Every many needs to take the time to give themselves a hug and a love. You did great today. I know I have more people joining me later on. All right. Take your hands. Clasp it behind your back. Get your palms. Put them together if you can. I don't have a lot of flexibility, so it's a little hard for me. And we're lifting. Okay, we're lifting and then releasing. Do it again, lift up and release. So I set this out today. I knew I wanted to do those high intensities. Check, I think I got that done. I want my arms to be, my chest to be sore tomorrow. I think it'll be there. I don't know, I'll check in with you tomorrow, I'll leave a comment. All right, take that up. Oh, Nelly, I can feel this in my triceps. And other way, other way. Nice work. All right, take that down. Lift it all the way up, arch your back, and down, and up, and arch your back. Switch sides, and up, and down. All right, so take one foot out in front. Bend that knee, okay. If you sit at a desk or in the car all day, this is a fantastic stretch to do. I'm gonna pull my skirt up. Take your hips, pull them forward. All right, we're not arching your back. Pull them forward. Our hip flexors are like this all day long. They're meant to be like this. We're meant to keep them out. So lean into that as you can. This is a great thing to do just sit up while you're on the phone at work 
or you know, even get out of the carpool line if you've been sitting all day and just stretch that hip flexor. I promise it's probably one of the most underrated stretches that we do. All right, next one, hips are in line. Mine are kind of turning because I'm talking to you. Get them in line with your knee, push that back heel down, pull that hip forward. Oh, I love that. It feels so good. All right, turn to the side. I'm gonna come back. Toes are out. If you do my classes, you know we're done because you know I love to end with this. Arms out. Sweep your arms down all the way in. Fill your lungs all the way with air and down and all the way up. I like to get ourselves back together nice and symmetrical all the way in and out. I want you to focus all the way in. Focus on one thing that you were grateful today in your health journey. And exhale. Fantastic job. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I will do more of these on my Graced Health Facebook page or Little Bitty Snippets. Um, if you read my blog often, I would love for you to join me there um, by subscribing. Um, I have a newsletter that's coming out uh, around December 1st and I include family favorite recipes. I'm probably including our very most favorite one. I have move ways to move your body, feed your body, feed your spirit. We all got to get our soul, our spirit taken care of. So join me there if you can, gracedhealth.com. Just put your name up in the top and I'd love to have you join me. Have a great one. Thanks. Bye. I got to figure out how to turn it off. Uh-oh. Finish.